you have an older BMW, you might have some uh, rubber rot like I have on mine. But this is replaceable, so uh, I'll show you how to do it. First thing you do is you tear out the old one. Just get your fingers in here. Now I'll go through and I'll clean out all that old junk. What I'm gonna do is uh, start in the corner. Uh, basically, it has double-sided tape on the edge and then the front side, I don't know if that'll come out in the picture, but um, there's a groove basically that I'll try to fit around the window, the actual glass of the window. And so that kind of, you feed it, you feed it in there towards the window and then you undo the um, backing on the tape obviously and then just kind of wedge the tape in there and it kind of holds itself in place. I'm going to try to do it without having to use any of the urethane. Um, they do sell window molding urethane, uh, but I think this is made to just hold itself in place. It looks like the design of it is such that you shouldn't need the urethane. And I'm going to try to do it without it. Okay, so I laid it out in the sun to get it kind of warmed up um, and I can I press this corner in and I can feel it already starting to grab here so if I keep on pressing it's going to kind of work its way around and seal itself um, grab onto the, that lip of the glass with this channel that's in the front edge here okay so I kind of figured out the right way to do it as I was going along um, and so learned from my mistakes. Actually, I didn't really make a mistake. I just learned a better way to do it. Um, so I'm pressing it in with the tape already, with the tape still attached. And I'm gonna peel the tape out after it's already in place. So I'm gonna go around the whole thing here, press this into place, get this front groove um, around the window. And then once that's all set, that top one's all set in, then I will remove that or pull that tape out. And I might have to stretch it just a little bit, but it is a good fit. So it fits perfectly right around the window. And then again, these sides right here. I'm gonna leave the, the backing on the tape while I press this into position. You got yourself a plastic tool on this side and kind of wedge it down in there and kind of lever against the glass to get that bottom lip to slide in. I don't know if that makes sense, but there's a groove that you're kind of getting to fit around that window pane of glass. And so I'm just kind of levering this, pushing it down and then Levering it in. So the top is looking really good. Along that top, as you can see there. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out this tape, making sure that I 
I press down as I pull it out. Okay, on the side, before you start taking the tape out, make sure that your line is kind of straight down and it shouldn't, it shouldn't pop over the edge. It shouldn't stick up too proud. If you know the word proud, proud of the edge here. And so I'm just gonna go back down along the whole thing, levering it into place just to make sure that it's sitting all flat. Down at the very bottom, make sure that this cowl rubber is kind of not in the way right here. So you can kind of pull that. You can pull that up and make sure it's not getting in your way. I'm just going to leave it kind of sticking up like that for, for now and I'll, I'll push it back down later. Okay, so now that I got it looking good and it's pretty straight all the line all the way down, I'm going to kind of put my tool in there to keep it where it's at and pull out the double sided tape. Kind of pressing it in as I go along. Making sure that it's coming out nice and straight. Good and straight. In the bottom, right down here in the corner, you might have to stick your finger down there to hold down the plastic or hold down this rubber so that it's really in there as you pull the last bit of tape backing off and then kind of press it down so that it makes full contact and sticks where you want it. Now I'm just kind of pressing along the whole edge of the rubber to make sure that I made a good seal all the way top to bottom. Okay, now this bottom piece that's kind of sticking up there, I don't know if you can pick that out in the picture, but the bottom cowl piece I'll kind of just press back into place. So you can see that it makes a pretty good seal. There's a lot of glare and stuff in the picture, but it does make a good seal all the way around. And it looks 2,000 times better than um, what it did before. And that's it, it's pretty easy actually. Once you get used to uh, pushing in the, pushing in the uh, rubber to its groove, and then taking out the tape backing afterwards, um, it uh, goes pretty smoothly.